Hey, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward. And right now I'm in the process of doing a back workout down in my basement home gym. And this is a continuation on with the positions of flexion training series that I'm putting together. And positions of flexion is hands down my most favorite uh, style of training because it works all your major muscle groups through a full range of motion, meaning the mid range, fully stretched and peak contraction. So I'm going to show you uh, all those different ranges of motion, all those different types of exercises, uh, how you can train the back using positions of flexion. So let's just jump right to it. And to start things off, I'm going to do some lat pull downs as a warm up exercise for the lats and the back. And I like this move because it takes your lats through a full range of motion. You get a full stretch and a full peak contraction. And it's just a good mobility exercise to really limber up the joints, the tendons, and the ligaments. Now, when I'm doing pull downs, I'll do both uh, pull downs to the front of the head as well as pull downs to the back of the head. Now, I know a lot of people kind of shun against doing pull downs to the back of the head. It's a bit of a controversial exercise, but I'm only doing it as a lightweight mobility movement. I'm not using heavy weights. I'm not placing a lot of strain here. I'm just using it as a mobility exercise to help loosen up uh, the joints, tendons, and ligaments and help loosen up the whole shoulder complex and prepare myself for the workout that's to follow. Now the first real exercise of the workout is the bent over barbell row and this is a good compound mid-range exercise for the back. Uh, doing rowing exercises like this will really help to add width and thickness to your lats. Now for this one I'm going to start off light and just do several progressively heavier warm-up sets and with all your exercises just do as many warm-up sets as you feel you need in order to work up to your top weight working set. I mean don't skimp on the warm-ups. They are critical for preventing injury. So take your time and make sure to do as many warm-up sets as you need in order to, uh, to warm up the muscles, to get accustomed to the exercise, and to prevent injury so that you can really push yourself safely and stay in this game for the long term. Now I'm using the bent over barbell row as a transitional exercise and what I mean by this is I'm going to work up to my top weight sets here and do a few working sets of around 8 to 10 repetitions and then immediately I'm going to move into doing deadlifts and I find that the bent over barbell row uh, transitions nicely into deadlifts because it actually warms up all the muscles that you're going to use for the deadlift so it's a great transitional exercise. So with the deadlift, I'm just going to continue on from my top weight working set from the bent over barbell row and do a few more progressively heavier sets working my way up to my top weight set. Now the deadlift is a true mid-range exercise for the back because all of the tension is in the middle portion of the rep. I mean you can lock it out at the top and get a little break and you can also rest it on the floor and get a break so it's truly a mid-range exercise where you're going to feel the majority of the tension in the middle of the repetition. Now when it comes to big heavy exercises like deadlifts you may find it helpful to reinforce your grip using lifting straps. This will give you a much more secure connection to the barbell. And not only will this help you to lift more weight and to get more repetitions, but it will allow you to perform your repetitions with better form. I mean, if you've ever done an exercise where your grip is slipping, I mean, chances are your technique starts to break down because you don't feel a solid connection to the weight. But when you have a good secure grip, you can actually perform the exercise with better form, better mechanics, and you can focus your attention on the exercise itself, not worrying about your hands slipping and losing the weight. So that's why I like to use lifting straps for my top heavyweight sets of deadlifts. And for this exercise, we're going to work up to doing three sets of eight to ten repetitions. And after the deadlifts, I'm going to move on to do some pull-ups. And this is a great overhead pulling exercise. Now, with your back workouts, you need to include a lot of different exercises in order to fully work the back from all angles. I mean, it's a very complex body part, and there's a lot of different movements that you can do to train your back. So I like to include rowing exercises and overhead pulling exercises, as well as different pullover variations, as you'll see later in the video. Now with the pull-ups, uh, I'm going to do three sets, repping out to failure, 
And if you have trouble doing pull-ups, then I have another video that shows a beginner pull-up uh, variation that you can incorporate that will make this exercise easier. So if you want, you can just click on the annotation up there in the corner to see my uh, beginner pull-up video, and this will help you to perform pull-ups if you find that you don't have enough strength to do them with your full body weight. Moving on in our workout, we're going to do some cross bench pullovers. And this is a great stretch exercise for the lats. Now with this movement, you don't need to use a lot of weight. I mean, it's, it's just a lightweight stretching move. So you want to focus primarily on getting a full range of motion using a slow controlled form and really feeling your lats stretch with each repetition. Now I'm using a weight plate for resistance, but you could use dumbbells, you could use a barbell, it really doesn't matter. I just chose to use a weight plate because I find it convenient. But again, you can use whatever form of resistance you feel uh, works the best for you. The main thing is to go through that full range of motion. And when you're doing a cross bench pullover like this, you're gonna feel the majority of the tension when your arms are extended overhead and your lats are fully stretched. And for the pullover, we're going to do three sets of 12 repetitions. Next in the workout, we're going to do another pullover variation, but this is a high pulley cable pullover. And even though it kind of looks like a similar movement pattern, the fact that we're using cable resistance changes the mechanics of the exercise entirely. When you use cables, now you're going to get more of a peak contraction rather than a stretch. So the majority of the tension is going to be in the bottom when your arms are down by your sides and your lats are fully contracted. So the same idea applies with this pullover variation. We want to use lightweight, strict form, really slow and controlled, and focus on getting a peak contraction in the lats when you bring your arms down. Now with these pullover variations, they are not power exercises. They are isolation exercises and they work best when you use light to moderate weight and really slow and controlled strict form. So you want to focus on feeling the muscles work, not just using momentum to complete your repetitions and to move the weight. And for the high pulley cable pullover, we're going to do three sets of 12 repetitions. Now the last two exercises of the workout are optional, but they'll really help to give you an awesome pump throughout the lats and help to create that mind-muscle connection. Now right here I'm doing the seated cable row with the V-bar attachment. And even though we did a rowing exercise back in the beginning of the workout with the bent over barbell row, uh, with the seated cable row it's a stricter rowing variation and because you're using cable resistance it makes it easier to get a peak contraction in your lats. So really focus on a slow and controlled form and pulling that handle to your midsection, squeezing your back hard and holding it for a second before lowering the weight back down. So if you want to include this one, I recommend three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions, really focusing on squeezing your lats hard with each rep. And the final exercise of the workout is the underhand grip lat pull down. And when you use an underhand grip for pull downs or for rowing exercises, it helps to engage more of the lower lats. And it's a great stretching exercise as well. You'll feel a deep stretch as you extend your arms overhead when you use an underhand grip. So I like to use this one as a, a finishing slash pumping exercise because it gives you both a good stretch as well as a good peak contraction. So keep the weight light to moderate, really focus on slow and controlled form, going through that full range of motion, and it's a great way to finish off your back workout and to get an awesome pump throughout the lats. And for the underhand grip lat pull down, do two to three sets of at least 12 repetitions. And to quickly recap the back workout, we started things off with a warm up with the lat pull down. Then we did the bent over barbell row for three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions, followed by deadlifts for three sets of eight to 10 reps. After that, did some pull-ups. Uh, for this one, just rep out to failure. Uh, I did three sets to failure, followed by cross bench pullovers to stretch out the lats for three sets of 12 reps. Then we did the high cable pullovers for three sets of 12 reps as a peak contraction exercise for the lats. 
And then moving on to the seated cable row, another peak contraction exercise for three sets of 12 reps. And finish things off with the underhand grip lat pull down for three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. So there you go. That's a complete positions of flexion back workout. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to post those down in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to the Total Fitness Bodybuilding YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with all my latest training videos. Have yourself a fantastic day, and I look forward to talking to you in my next video. Take care, over and out.